Dragon Ball Online 2022 High Saviors GH here. We're gonna do a Dragon Ball Online gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. Dragon Ball Online is a tab targeting anime MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Let's go play the game, okay guys? Here's the character creation. And here goes the different races. Here's the humans, the Namics, and the Magins. The Magin boost. Okay, there's male and female Magin, of course. Then the Namek race is gender lock. Then humans, male and female. And there's also two classes for each races. And here are the classes for the humans. Here's the martial artist. And this one is the spiritualist. For the Namics, we got warriors and dragon clan this is the last class i picked and i didn't know it was a healer <laughs> so anyway for the magin race there's two class mighty magin and wonder magin we're gonna play as a wonder magin but wait a minute oh it's another support okay so we're gonna play as a mighty magin a female mighty magin how about the hair can we change the hair okay there's a few different hairs over here let's use this then hair color there's no hair color and then here are the different faces. There's only a few of them. And they all look like Dragon Ball faces. And then for the skin. Okay, we can change the skin. There are different colors of Magins. But we're gonna use the OG color. Let's go. What's this preview over here? Oh, wow. Okay. Our character can age in this game. We start out as a young character and then we grow old. This is the final age, if I'm correct. And here's the preview if you're using Kaioken. And I think this is the preview. If you're gonna transform into a pure Magin, let's go name our character. Create. Do you wish to create this character? Okay, let's go. And there it goes. Let's start the game. Okay. Choose a channel to log in. I choose channel one. What's happening here? Look at this. I'm clicking this okay, but nothing's happening. I guess I need to do this. Man, what's happening here? I'm clicking okay, but nothing's happening. How about press escape? Nothing's happening when I'm pressing escape. I can't click anything here. Okay, there it goes. Now it's working. What? What happened there? Okay, anyway, start the tutorial. Okay. Base account already connected. What? You have been... Oh. Okay, guys. I got disconnected for some reason. Okay, let's, let's try starting it again. Start. Channel 1. I'm selecting channel 1 now. And then, okay. Do you wish to start the tutorial? Okay. And there it goes. The game's loading. And the story. There goes Shenron. Escape. Skip the story part. Skip. Skip everything, bro. Let's go to the Kami Island. Okay, I'm waiting for this. I hope the game is running well in this DBO Zenkai server. Because the last server I played in, the client is very laggy. It stutters a lot. Okay, let's move around. There's a bit of stutter, but this is tolerable. And it's teaching us how to move the camera. Okay. Basic operation, character movement, WSD. Go to the checkpoint. Okay. Now it's asking me to click the orange button. This one. Okay. Why? Okay. Skills. There it goes. Here's our first skill. I think it's asking me to put it here. There it goes. Put the other one over here. No, this over here. It's happening. I can't put the other skill. Is this passive? No, it's an active skill. But I can't put it. It's asking me to close the menu. Removing equipment. Click the orange button. C for the character status. Press I. For what? It's asking me to press this. I or press this. Oh no, I need to right click it. It's asking me to put it here. To unequip it. Why do you need me to? Okay, it's a tutorial for unequipping items. And there it goes, we equipped it again. Please close all open windows. Close everything. And there's a checkpoint over there. A bean cyberman. We're gonna have to fight this, right? Unknown monster. Let's go fight it. Oh, we just need to highlight it for now. You can basic attack by right clicking the target. Let's right click the target to basic attack. Look at this guys, we're basic attacking. Now what? It's a Kawanga. Activate a skill in the quick slot bar. Okay, we're gonna use a skill. Let go. Activate the skill. Boom, that's the skill. It's a punch. Miracle super punch. And there's another monster over there. Okay, let's defeat this monster. And let's press V to loot. According to the tutorial, V is for looting. Okay, we defeated that thing. Loot. 
there it goes. We looted everything. The game is running much better in this server, but it's still stuttering now. Okay, let's go over there. There's a checkpoint over there. It's the turtle. Talk to the turtle. Oh no! Now what, bruh? Man, this is a lie. 300 frames. Okay, I guess this is the part where the Cyberman appears. Oh no, I think it's the GNU forces. How can I skip this? I can't skip this. Pressing everything. Okay, let's just watch it. GNU forces. Uh, oh yeah, it's the GNU forces looking enemies. And there goes Trunks. Ah uh, yeah, it's Trunks. Who are you guys? Okay, skip bruh. And there it goes immediately. Trunks is gonna destroy the GNU forces. Boom. And that's done. I think we need to talk to Trunks. Who might you be? Let's go talk to Trunks. Now what? There goes the time machine. Let's go over there. Talk to the robot. Yo, robot. Give me another quest. Skip. Okay, we skip the conversation. And I think the game is loading. What should I do now? Can I jump in the game? Oh yeah, we can jump in the game. But what's happening? Do I need to move to this spaceship? Okay. I'm on top of the spaceship. Okay, the game is loading. And I can still move. And there it goes. It's a different starting area. This is nice. When I played Namek, I started out in the Namek place. Now I guess this is the places for Majin Boost. Close this. Now what? Get a quest from Dada. Using a scouter. Skip. Oh, accept. How do we use a scouter? <laughs> okay. Do we have a scouter? Okay, let's just talk to this NPC. Figure it out. Oh, okay, it's just the stats. Like this one's. Okay, reward. Now it's asking me to hunt down Rio monsters. Like those things. The game is running very well. Man, this is nice. Because the last time I played, I was really bothered by the game stuttering a lot. Now, look at this. There is micro stutter sometimes. Especially when we're just loading in a map. But for the most part, it's playable. Nice. Okay, let's hunt down this Rio. Let's punch him. What's this? Another tutorial. Close that thing. Man, I don't want to listen to this tutorial thingy. Okay, can we just put it here? If you want to pop out, pop out on your own. Okay. Again, this is one of those MMORPGs that gives you equipment that you can't equip. Like this. They gave us shoes that we can't equip because it's for humans. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's hunt down more Rios. Let's go. Punch. There's no sound effect in the game. The monsters in here is much more tougher. Oh, loot. We got some Zennies. We can equip this one. Do we? Oh, yeah, we could. And what is this? Mystery item. I'm double clicking it, but nothing's happening. Let's see if we can open up the sound options. Yeah, we could. Sound effects. Let's disable the background music. Apply. Let's hunt down the last Rio. I don't remember this from Dragon Ball. I kind of remember the face. But the monster itself? No. Loot. Let's turn over the quest. Jump. Dada. First training reward. We skip. Accept a new quest. And the game is loading. Teacher Yubai. Yubi. Is he the NPC? Okay, let's talk to him. Reward. He gave us something. What's that? It's potions. Medicinal water. Okay, give me another quest. Popo stone. Let's follow the directions. I think that's the Popo stone. I'm lagging this place. It's a desert map. Jump. There goes the Popo stone. Interact with it. Okay, is that it? Let's turn over the quest. Man, this is really nice. The game is running very well. I was really bothered the last time I was playing Dragon Ball Online. It's a, It was a different server because it's very laggy. This one is running much better. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, there it goes. The PC. Pop a stone. Oh, he gave us something. I hope we can wear it. We could equip it. Dump this old... Oh, no. Let's not dump it for now. Get a new quest. Talk to the elder. Is it talk to the elder? There it goes. The village chief. Is he a rat? Some kind of an animal. <laughs> okay, let's talk to him. Reward. Okay, we got that quest, but he's not giving any more quests. Where's the new quest? Let's open up the map. There's no more quests. Where am I? Uh-oh. I think I'm here. Uh-oh. Where am I supposed to go now? Okay, suddenly there's no quest. Uh, 
what am I supposed to do? Okay, guys. Before we look for the quest NPC, which probably is around here. Oh, okay. I think this is it on the minimap. We're gonna go there. But before we do that, we're gonna check out the cash shop. And here is the cash shop. And there it goes. What is this? Tuxedo type A. Okay, this one is a skin. We can buy skin in the game. Most of this are skin. Android 16 outfit. White tuxedo, orange star, high school skin. We can buy it in the cash shop. Just six of them. Okay. Anyway, and we can also buy enhancement item in the cash shop. Like this weapon upgrade stone. These are for weapons used to upgrade weapons. <laughs> Very self-explanatory. There's also armor upgrade stones, which is used to upgrade your armors. We can buy it in the cash shop. Okay, there are advanced versions of it. I guess the higher the advancement, the better. There's a bunch of them, advanced white stone, basic white stone, and there's also skill reset books. It's always in the cash shop. And a kid clock. Based on my understanding, I guess this will turn you into a kid if you're an adult or vice versa. It's a kid clock, it probably turns you into a kid. <laughs> and some potions and auto pots. They also sell auto pots. Look at this. There's a bunch of them. EV is the mana if I'm correct. And LP is the HP. And then cash tokens and mounts in the game. There's a flaming rabbit ban. I can't preview it. I wish we could, but there's no way to preview it. Most of them are rabbit vans, but different colors. <laughs> and there's liquid fuel, okay, which increases our movement speed. And there's a lot of them. Okay, it's a buff. There's 30 days, 7 days. Okay, there it goes. And is that it? Wow. Yeah, that's it. There's only a few stuff in the cash shop, which is good. But still, they're selling enhancement items. Anyway, that's the cash shop. I hope you saw what you needed to see. Let's go proceed with the gameplay. Let's look for the quest. Teleporter quest. There it goes. Take a quest from this alien. Instance transmission training. Okay, I remember this quest. I wasn't able to finish this. Mainly because I didn't read the tutorial. <laughs> okay, anyway. We're gonna try to read the quest now. Let's try reading it. How can I teleport? Is there an item or do I need to interact with the Popo Stone? Okay, let's just guess. <laughs> I'm still not reading it properly. <laughs> okay, is there an item? No. Let's talk to him. Teleport? Oh yeah, you're the teleporter. He wants me to go to Corin Village. Okay, let's try going there. Okay. And am I warping now? Man, this game, look at this. I like the animation. And there it goes, we're in Corin Forest. Man, I really like this MMORPG. If I knew about this, when this was new, I probably hardcore played this. I'm a mega fan of Dragon Ball Z. But unfortunately, I wasn't aware when this game came out. This was probably only released in certain regions and not on Southeast Asia. Okay. So, I think it's asking me to find somebody. Should I follow the arrow? I remember having a mount in this game. I think this server isn't given a free mount. Okay, let's talk to the teleporter again. And then let's go back to this village. I'm liking the animation. <laughs> nice. Okay, this village is called B Village. Let's turn over the quest. Instant transmission training. We're done with that. How about you? Are you giving a quest? Yes, the way to live happily. Skip everything. Just point me to the direction, Potato Cyberman. We need to defeat those. But first, let's get all the quests over here because it's too far. Is there any more quests here? Okay, there's a quest over here. He looks like a chef. Cooking materials. Okay. Except, let's go. Which is the closest? Okay, we're gonna get the cooking materials first. Because it's the closest. But where can I go? Man, we don't have a mount. And there was the potato cyber man. Okay, might as well hunt this one's down. Let's go attack. Okay, we got one. Boop. Let's open up our bag. Did we get something we could wear? We could wear this, but we're still level 2. Let's hunt more down. And the game is running very well. I'm very happy. Because the last time I played at the start, I already knew that I'm not going to be able to play it because the game is just tottering a lot. But this one is running very well. Loot? What's that? It's always level 6. 
We should hurry up to level 6 so we can wear stuff. Good. We're done with that quest. Now we need to find... What's happening here? The quest is pointed over here. Wait a minute. Can we go there? No. Man, this is confusing. We need to go enter the village first. This cooking materials is found in the village. I guess an NPC that sells the vegetables. Okay, let's turn over the quest first. The NPCs is here. Reward? Okay, we're done with that quest. No. He's giving another quest. Get that quest. Accept. And now let's do the vegetable quest, which is just around here what is this the thing that we need to interact with we're interacting with the crate of meat ah it's pointed at the meat thingy but where's the vegetables no it's just vegetables i found the meat but where's the fish and vegetable it's not pointing at the location of the vegetable or fresh fish okay i guess we're gonna have to roam around the village to find the vegetable and the fish Okay, I'm gonna roam around. Okay, there goes the vegetables. Let's get it. And we got the vegetable. Now what? The fresh fish. The village is small, so we're gonna find it. That's a wooden bucket. Couldn't be there. Let's open up the mailbox. We have nothing. System mail? Send? No, we have nothing. Where's the fish? Man, this quest direction is so wrong. Okay, there goes the crate of fish. Interact with it. And we're done with the quest. Let's turn over the quest. Here we go, chef. Reward? Another quest? Uh, lesson. It's only lesson. Lesson what? We need to talk to children's. Hana Hana, Dooli Dooli, and Shami Shami. <laughs> nice name. Okay. Dooli Dooli is here. Talk to him. Lesson. Skip. There goes Hana Hana. And then Shami Shami. They're probably all running around. Lesson. Skip. Where's Shami Shami? Where is Shami Shami? Okay, there he goes. Talk to her. Lesson. Skip. Let's turn over the quest. Lesson. Reward. We're done with you, right? Okay. We're done with that NPC. Now let's do the letter quest. Okay, we're done with this area. No, we're not. This one is giving a quest. Skip. Accept. Is there other quest over here? Oh yeah, this one is giving a quest. The goods merchant. Let's take it. Oh no. Let's turn over the quest. Accept a new quest. This was is very easy to do. Now I need to go interact with the rhino. Open up our bag. I think we, he gave us something. Something we could equip? Nope. Okay, anyway, interact with the rhino. Reward. Accept. Now interact with the teleporter. Reward. Accept. Now the banker. Okay, this is the NPC tutorial. What's this? Magic pants. He gave us something. Okay, we could wear it. Let's wear it. Then, okay, should we dump it? Oh no. Maybe later. Let's look for the next NPC. Okay, there it goes. The scouter merchant. What's happening? Select a reward. Reward? Now wear this. Okay, let's dump the items. Our storage is getting cluttered. Okay, that should be good enough, right? And that's it. Okay, now we need to do this quest. Water bridge teacher. New skills. It's asking me to check out the skills. Do you have a new skill? Can we add this? Okay, how about let's add this thing and this one. Nice. This is just the right amount of skills. Put it here. Okay, let's test it all out. This one is called Caramel Drop Kick. This one is Battering Arm Spin. Evade Up. Okay, that's a buff. Defense Breeze. Let's put the buff over here. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, it's a buff. How about F2? Select a target. It's a buff. But I need to target myself. Increases physical defense. Let's go deliver the letter. I think that's the quest NPC. Okay, so early on in the game, there's a lot of talking to NPC. Okay, let's talk to this NPC. Reward. Skip. Accept. Now we need to hunt down tough Cyberman. Which is where? Oh, that's a bit far. How about... Man, there's a lot of NPCs to talk to here. Okay, so how about... Let's try talking to these NPCs. I hope it's fast. Later. This one is a later quest. How about you? Give me your quest. Accept. Rio Nova. And now this one is giving another quest. Take your other quest. Oh, you have two quests, huh? Give me another quest. Wow. That's a lot of quests. Okay, so how about let's hunt down the tough Cyberman. But I think 
Uh, those are quests also, this Rio Nova. We need to hunt down six of them. Okay, let's hunt them down. Hunt them down. Let's try the skill. Caramel drop kick. Okay, it's a kick. Okay, the enemy's defeated. How about let's try this battering arm spin? And where's the Rio Novas? Okay, there it goes. Let's try the third skill. Arm spin. There it goes. I forgot. Let's buff up. Loot. Ooh, what is that? We got something. It's for level 6. There goes another Rio Nova. Hunt it down. It's close up. For you guys. And we win. How many more? Three more. Here's another one. Can we upgrade the skills even more? Because it's kind of weak. Oh no. That's it. Loot. What's this? Weapon upgrade stone. Okay. We can get this stuff in the game by just playing. Man, we have a lot of stuff that we couldn't wear. For Namex, humans. It's just annoying getting those stuff. There goes two Reunovas. Let's finish them off. Loot. What's happening? Okay, I'm pressing B. Not V. Finish up the last one. He's done for. Now for the Cyberman. Tough Cyberman. There's a lot of different types of Cyberman over here. What's happening with this Cyberman quest? I can't see any tough Cyberman over here. Only body potato Cyberman. Okay, let's hunt this down. It might be this one. Or it could be the platinum one. Oh no, it's the muddy Cyberman. Okay, finish up the quest. Three more. Inventory is full. Ah, uh, yeah. The inventory here is gonna be a problem. They're giving you a lot of useless item. And items, you don't even know what it is. So I guess from the start, if you really want to play the game, you're gonna have to buy something in the cash shop to expand your inventory. What's happening here? Oh, I thought we're hunting down tough Cyberman. No, we're trying to get the shell. And it's auto loot. Okay, let's hunt them down. Okay, one more and we're done. Let's go! And what is this? He dropped a lot of items that we couldn't pick up because our storage is very limited. I'm not liking this. We only have a few inventory slots and there's a lot of items dropping. Okay, so anyway. We're done with that quest, and you guys get the gist of how questing goes in this game. So how about let's explore, maybe see familiar faces. <laughs> you guys know this monster, right? And it's aggressive! What the flabby bird, let's fight this Cyberman over here. Let's go! Let's buff up. Buff. Okay, we defeated that Cyberman. And that's Dragon Ball Online from the start. I really wish I knew about this game when this was released because I could have hardcore played this. Anyway, at the start, they gave us an option to choose from 3 races and all with 2 classes. I know, it's a bit limited from the usual MMORPG that we play, but I guess it's enough here. Now, the quest thing did bring forth some quests that the compass didn't show the location, but I was able to find it because the village is small, so the quest is okay. Now, the combat is tab targeting. And the class that I chose has a lot of abilities, but from afar, it all looks the same and feels the same. So yeah, I guess it's gonna get better as you play the game. Now the graphics, I'm fine with it. It certainly looks and feels like I'm in a Dragon Ball world. As for the frame rate, I'm glad to say that in this private server, it has a playable frame rate. Thank god. All in all, it's a fine MMORPG. 
But what I'm worried about here is the population. But I guess most of the players in the game is at the end game. And if you want to check the game out, the details are on the screen. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.